Uh, what's the economic model to sustain this? We're still trying to figure that out. Um, and I'm fortunate to work for a paper that is more concerned with great journalism than having this new thing turn a profit. Um, and that's a blessing that allows us to keep going now a year and a half later um, with something that's not drawing a, a lot of ad revenue. Um, that speaks to, I think, a, a deep problem for the newspaper industry is that the newspaper industry is still thinking about ink on paper and the people who run the business side of newspapers are still thinking about paper too much. And I think they need to start thinking of themselves as media companies who have lots of different products that they need to sell advertising for. Ultimately, our business model is to primarily get our money from advertising. So we get enough, we get enough readers, we get enough ads, we've got a good, you know, we're attracting, I always think of our readers as being the same people who listen to NPR. And so we get enough of those people coming to the site every day, you could charge enough for ads, you could make the thing work. And, and there have been months where we're getting so many readers that that would work if we were doing a good job selling ads. Um, but our ad people are so focused on getting the local Ford dealer not to cancel his print contract in the recession that they're not focused on selling web ads as much as, as they could be. You know, that's a resource issue for our ad people. And PolitiFact all along has really been seen as R&D. And so they haven't put any pressure on me for audience or for it to make a profit. At some point, though, it needs to, and I want it to badly. We're also looking at other ways it can make money. Um, we, uh, we have, um, <laughs> we got approached by a company that makes cards, like collector's cards and playing cards and things, and they wanted to do a deck of Obama's campaign promises. And I was like, well, that's funny, you know. So anyway, they had seen our, our site and they said, could we license the Obometer database and use it in these cards? And we're like, you know, for a little bit of money, sure. So, um, so the cards are coming out. In fact, they just uh, came out of the printer this week and uh, they'll be in stores uh, in the next couple of weeks. And they're, they're, it's got a PolitiFact logo on it. It's the Obama Promises cards. So we'll make a little money from that, you know, and uh, um, uh, I also think the franchising model has some, some real possibility. If, if we have PolitiFact National and we run that and we franchise PolitiFact local branches to local TV stations and newspapers, they'd pay us a little bit of money each month. They do their own truth meter items, have their own websites with our logo, and then it would all sort of build the national brand. So uh, I think there's some potential there. We haven't explored the business side. Uh, we're just beginning to. We have a consultant who's starting who's really looking at the business side and is going to figure out how we can make this thing work. Um, but I just, I just think the truth meter has a great future, um, not just for you know, elected officials, but you, know, you could see using it other places too. The preceding program was produced on LSU's campus by the Manship School of Mass Communication and the Riley Center for Media and Public Affairs. The Manship School serves undergraduates with programs in journalism, advertising, public relations, and political communication. For more information about the school, visit manship.lsu.edu.